All right, I'll read Proverbs chapter 26. Today's February 26, Saturday, 2022. We'll read the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament. Folly of fools is the chapter theme. Like snow in summer or rain at harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a fluttering sparrow or a flying swallow, so an undeserved curse does not land. A whip for a horse, a bridle for a donkey, and a rod for the back of fools. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, else you also will be like them. Answer a fool according to his folly, else he will be wise in his own eyes, like cutting of one's feet or drinking violence is sending a message by a fool's hand. Like a lame man's legs that hang limp, so is a proverb in a fool's mouth. Like tying a stone into a sling, so is giving honor to a fool. Like a thorn bush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in a fool's mouth. Like an archer who wounds at random is one who hires a fool or any passerby like a dog that returns to his vomit. So a fool repeats his folly. Do you see one wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than him. Folly of slackers. A slacker says there's a lion on a road. A lion is in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges to a slacker turns on his bed. A slacker plunges his hands, hand in the dish. He is too tired to bring it back to his mouth. A slacker is wiser in his own eyes than seven people who answer sensibly. The next last chapter theme section is Folly of Lashon Hara. Verse 17, like one who takes a dog by the ears is a passerby who meddles in a quarrel nor not his own. Like a madman shooting firebrands and deadly arrows, so is one who deceives his friend and says, I was only joking. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without gossip, quarrel sees. As coals are to embers and wood to fire, so is a contentious person to kindling strife. A gossip's words are like of last tasty morsels. They slide down into the innermost parts of the body. Like silver glaze overlying earthenware, our fervor slips with an evil heart. One who hates disguises it with his lips, but he stores up deceit within him. When he speaks favorably, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred may be concealed by deceit, his evil will be exposed before the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall in it, and whoever rolls a stone, it will come back upon him. A lying tongue hates those crushed by it, and a flattering mouth causes ruin. And that's verse 28, book of Proverbs. Folly of fools, Proverbs 26. Pr Lord, we pray for this, your words of wisdom. Help us grow in this and help us apply this in our lives. Every word we read, in Jesus' name, amen.